Hello everybody and welcome back to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Last episode, we saw the Prime Minister get bisected. No, he didn't get bisected, he just gets stabbed. We saw Raiden almost get bisected. And Jet Dream Sam and Sundowner got away. I'll get you, Sundowner, next time. That is my very sorry attempt uh, of a Dr. Claw impression, and I'm sorry for that. My curse is on screen again. God damn it. So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct beat to your optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, right? Doctor. So, I can't contain myself every time I see his name, it makes me happy. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes, and two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. <clears throat> Enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you start. Alright, I don't know what that acronym stands for. Extract their fluids. They're terrorists. We get a drink them. Anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me. Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. If we were capitalists and the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three miles out, closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for <laughs> I like the running gag for this game, where Kevin, where Kevin just keeps slightly moving the cup That's what you said farther away from the edge. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military... The place is currently on fucking fire. ...brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolce leader of the occupation forces, an extremist. <coughs> oh, that probably fucking peaked my brain with that. Oh yeah, this game takes place in 2020. So, where's my cybernetic enhancement? It's on Google. Give me a robo arm. Let me go full metal alchemist on this bitch. Hey, speaking of metal arm. So I think for this playthrough I won't be doing the DLC. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an So I'm probably not gonna touch the DLC. But you know, whatever. Keep an eye out. Ready for insertion. Honestly, I really like the uh the uh Kodak boys for this game. We're just fun banter. Motherfucker glides in like a goddamn keto. And now we get to actually play Raiden. But like, Metal Gear Rising Raiden. Not, uh, Metal Gear 4 Raiden. <laughs> Oh Christ, Raiden just activated his shotting gun. Dude, I'm gonna be put the infinite Tsukunome. I'm gonna stop making Naruto references now. Raiden, you landed safely, duh? So First one thing in. you can do here is if you the just chop all these. That's physics. You, you can also do that with this bridge. <laughs> and boom, look, completely collapsed. Slice, slice. Just something fun I like to do. 
every time I play this stage. I don't know why, I just feel the impulsive need. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyber like you, eh? So the thing with uh, the thing that makes this game's combat so much fun is the Zanatsu system. Also the fact that there is no blocking, meaning you have to parry, which is which is just fucking absolutely bonkers. To think that a platinum game doesn't have a dedicated dodge feature. Also, don't worry, we won't be seeing as many cutscenes until we get deeper into the game. Like, yeah, there'll be, like, talking sections, but full-on CGI cutscenes kind of take a backseat after a little bit. My hair is all over my shit. Here we go. Had your fill? <coughs> Kevin Washington. Body, I could take these guys with no eyes. <coughs> Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer. Still don't know what CNT land. is. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. <laughs> still yeah. moves it. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. You hear that, Ryan? You kick yeah, the so bucket. We're not killing your family. Private militaries <laughs> needed a new edge on the market. We got. It. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name, mm. only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where did Desperado find these guys? We may I'm never know. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, there's still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. Hmm. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Christ, Ryan, you're gonna use your fucking high frequency blade to fucking cut your wrists? Christ, man. The edge is kinda thick. Anyway, uh, his school? Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. <coughs> right. Time to increase the peace. By increasing the amount of my opposition's pieces exist. No damage. Yay, I did it. Hey, yes, rank. Let's go. And the Nazi tutorial now playable. Well, about that. I know I already know how to do that, but thanks, I guess. Oh my god. Right, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city. So what you're telling me is there's more boss the music town, coming. Then head down to the <coughs> rear of the refinery. Ah. Still. I think they anticipate us. <coughs> they probably have a grand reception <coughs> awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. You go up to chess, cut them. You can get what's inside. Quite an efficient way of opening up containers. Hey guys, welcome to my unboxing video. This joke isn't funny. Um, is there anything up here? Let's find out together. Ah, there is. Box. And another call. Paste. Hmm. Eh, not that useful. Mainly because I don't intend on getting hit enough to need one. See, that's got confidence. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them. Or approach from behind. See, the joke is I'm probably definitely going to need them, because this game's hard as balls sometimes. Like some of this game's bosses make me angry. After a stealth tag, you can send dot to them. Grab the delicious goods. Hmm, flashy as fuck. Just the way I like it. I don't know if there's anything back here, but I'm just gonna cut it up to be safe. Eh, doesn't seem like it. Alright. Yep, nothing. Dryden, take that main thoroughfare. If you look you down there, there's a guy who's being held hostage. Is this is an optional your mission that you can just get him. But I think I'll go for it, just for the sake of it. Huh. 
Some this extra battle points. That is not good. This is not good. So if you take too long, the hostage will be executed. So what you gotta do? What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? No, I'm not doing anything. Can we just kill them? It'll be easier. As opposed to driven them. You can find them. Give them a slash. Attack. Anybody that might be trying to assault him. Oh. He caught an explosion, didn't he? <sighs> Every fucking time. Yeah, any form of chip damage will instantly kill a hostage. Unfortunately. So once I kill this guy. I'm gonna just put these on top to him. Now give me some time. Move away from the hostage. Cut that guy in two. Up here. Oh, shit. Oh, I'll get up there, but. Oh, no. Excuse me. Start. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought already. You come down to me. It's murdering you slightly easier. Yoink! So after once when you beat every enemy in the area and they've fully exploded, let him know he is safe. You press F, and boom, and they will run off into the great unknown. We saved the light, Brad. So I think we need to go up. Yeah, go up here. A few grenades. And there's a few extra knickknacks in the building that you can grab if you so please. Which I think I will, just for the sake of it. Yeet. I don't think there's any. Yeah, I don't think there's. Any big health upgrades up here yet? Unless. Nope. Nothing. Alright. I should probably stop being so explorative. I'll explore in my own time when I replay this game for the third its time. So here are geckos from Metal Gear Solid 4. Just as much of a pain in the ass in this game as they were in that game. You know. We now have a giant fuck off sword. Get through these bastards. Like, uh, hot knives through black. Through blender. Yep. Did you know, knives can cut blenders, dude. Thank you, friend. You wanna try that again? <clears throat> like a hot knife through a butter. So you parry by holding the sword and picking the attack direction that the attack is coming from. You can style on him by doing these QTEs. And yo! Again, not that hard if you know how to deal with them, but for your first time fighting them, they can be quite a pain in the ass. Going into Zondatsu, Gives you iframes, so don't be worried about coming out of the animation and getting hit. You know, unless you literally have an entire army after you. In that case, yeah, I'd run a little bit. A rank. But I didn't get hit, I would have gotten the yes, right. Now, keep heading for refinery. There we go. So what you can do is Stealth kill each one of these guys. It's optional, but it makes it a little easier. I personally don't mind going for it, like if I'm going for a hostage, but usually if I'm not going to deal with a super tough enemy because of it, I won't really mind. And yeah, some Gekkus aren't really going to threaten me anymore since I've beaten this game about 100 times. Don't worry. 
inside this game is really generous health pickups near the start. So I wouldn't even worry about dying at all. Oh, almost fell off the ledge. No. I will worry about I will worry about getting edge guarded crying. <laughs> God, the gecko's neutral is just too good. Alright, I gotta actually kill that now. And there's one quick way I know of doing that. Throw myself into the sledge. Hello, friend. I'm gonna need to borrow your insides. Thank you. And there we go. Back with full health. Okay, it's still a pain in the ass. Oh god, if you knock me down here one more time, I'm gonna scream. Well, took you having a high ground. So I will make it so there is no high ground. Yeah, Geckos have super armor on all their moves. Which <laughs> the originally makes them really annoying to fight, especially when the game stacks two of them on top of you. And boom, from Dr. Duck. Yeah, fighting multiple of these guys kind of sucks, and that's a big thing with the uh, Rising. There's crowd control. Also, this is just flashy as fuck. Yeah. Is an awesome position to get cut up. Keep slicing into him. And done. Easy. I think I think we actually fight I don't remember if we fight Blade Wolf first or Mistral. Do not remember. They have eh. erected an oh, well. barricade. Maybe expecting yeah. UG or cyborg attacks, huh? Pretty sure we fight Blade Wolf first. Which Blade Wolf is a hard one. Hey, we're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Uh, from the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Basically, this is the game explaining, hey, you can find these and get VR missions. Look, keep an eye out for them. And they're actually beaten on the VR missions. I'm not sure what it unlocks, but yeah. That's, that's great. Anyway. I've never actually beaten all the VR missions in this game. I never went for 100% in this game. <clears throat> I usually just played this game on hard mode, and that was my considered 100%, personally. Yep, we fight Blade Wolf first. Greetings, cyborg. Show you things, yourself. gamer. <laughs> Show yourself. Alright, noted. I mean, he did show himself. Part of himself, at least. Yeah. Oh, hi, Satan. This is Blade Wolf. And Our next fight. I am IF Prototype LQ84I. IF Prototype. Interface Prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high level onboard artificial intelligence and additional prototype. Positioning and sitting is weird. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay then, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? Just to suffer. Sorry. R wrong, uh, wrong Metal Gear game. I am here to kill you. Yes, Raiden is fighting all these motherfuckers in heels. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! And here it is, our second major boss fight. The fight with Blade. This fight 
is incredibly annoying if you do not know what you're doing. My first time around, I didn't know what I was doing. Basically, if you haven't mastered Terrigan, good luck. Nowadays, this game, this fucking fight still pisses me off. But, with heavy attacks, you can... You can just stun him. He will stun like the Hedgehog homing attack on you. If you're not careful, he will just cut you in half. Casually. Look, if, you, if you manage to parry that move, give you a big opportunity for damage. So, Blade Wolf, not really that hard of a fight if you can parry. But he also gives you free health drops. Yoink. Yoink. Delicious. Beautiful. It only fills up your Zendatsu meter as well as your health. Look, just carrying all this. Pretty easy. Can be a little bit annoying sometimes. This is the only hard part of the fight. I'm trying to get us to take down another gecko. See, that was a joke. See, if you manage to parry this move, you can then go into your cutscene connector. And then, boom. This is what I was trying to do originally, but they both double sided me, so. Really couldn't do much. Alright, come down here, Axel. Damage from the fairy, put more back, come up the After stabbing him, throwing him up, kicking him in the air. Bam, bam, thank you, man. And now we take the PA parts. You half AI? Does that mean you're not free riding? Don't you want to share with the class? Anyway. Yeah, that was Blade Wolf. Okay, not that bad if you know how to parry. It's still sometimes be a pain in the ass to me, though. Because like, oh, yeah, that's explosive. Yep, should have seen that. It was red. I asked the video game logic if there is a barrel that is red, it is guaranteed to explode. The law is the video game, so you know. Next we see shield enemies, which are mostly, again, just regular enemies, the shield. Taking enough punishment. Let's say after taking enough punishment. Anyway. The shield will break, giving them as weak and defenseless as a regular boy enemy is. And... delicious. Left this chest open. I don't think there's any other things that I missed. Nope, we're good. Oh shit, 
gonna run. This is another auto run section, which the game likes to do a lot. I think they even do this like, uh, you know, the final boss. There's a lot of quick time events, but then again, this is 2013, we're gonna like that. Yeah, my first time around, I wasn't expecting this to continue. So I just stopped, enjoyed the cutscene, and fell off and died. <laughs> it really pissed me off my first time around, but eh. Oh well. So what, ah, fuck it. So what you're intended to do is use those homing rockets the game just gave you. Or, alternatively, just cut them into little tiny pieces with, while jumping, which is the method I like doing. I don't really use stuff weapons in this game. I don't think I just like the sword plays that much. Now he's stunned, he'll fall down. Then he can take more damage. And boom, so look, he's already pitched his underway there. These guys are these guys are a recurring enemy. And recurring pain in the falls. But thankfully, if there's a certain amount of time, and a certain amount of slashes. You can run up to him. Goodbye, bitch. Easy peasy, one of the dead people. And boom, anyway. Easy. Alright. Um. Do I have. I do. So this one is needed here to save this hostage. Throw one of those explosive nades. Cut these idiots up. Grab their electrolytes. I think the hostage just got killed. Oh, good. I'm absorbing all the explosions. What matters is the hostage is safe. I should probably get these guys away from the hostage. Come here, bitch. You shit, asshole. You fall off your horse. There you go. That's one. That's two. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh. Ah, bitch. I will say, the lighting enemies biggest pain in the ass in this game. Because it sometimes will just float out right outside your ring. And if you're not locked on, it can be a pain in the ass to kill you. Oh, wh what do you even die from? Whatever. I'm not going back for you. <laughs> eh, probably got shot by one of the fucking gliders I wasn't paying attention to. Eh, whatever. I'm only missing out on, I think it's, what, 5,000 battle points? Yeah, it's like nothing. I just like going for them anyway. If you get all of them, you get an achievement, but yeah. So that's where they're holed up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely it opens only if you have the right IE data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Well, you just murdered, like, you know, back next to the, the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct yeah. ID data for the game. There, there's um, walking sections for conversations, and they used to put invisible walls around it. And it's kind of, it kind of sucks, but hey. Eh. Limited by the ways of the time, I suppose. How the fuck did you get? How did you not see me? Alright, you kind of deserve this one, buddy. You did that one yourself. You get the fucking... You get the attention span and the fucking... Spatial awareness of a grapefruit. Left arm is mine. Right arm is mine. Head's mine. And now you flew it to me. Delicious. And actually, if you slash at these vehicles long enough... They can become some doctor with it. And you can chop them to pieces. Ultimately useless, but eh, still fun. 
Being able to cut things into tiny bits is one of my favorite parts of this game. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. And yoink. See, if you do this section fully stealth, Kevin will compliment you. The ultimate reward. Left hand. And got a spot. Delicious. Bravo! Excellent work! There was classified data embedded in that hand. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. Neat. So if you collect all 30 uh, arms, I'm not actually sure what you get, but I'm pretty sure it's just more lore and upgrades. I'm not sure what those upgrades are, so... But these guys are kind of a pain in the ass. These guys are heavier artillery. Which will take way more punishment. But, also cannot just be one shot and dodged with every other guy. Mmm, extra battle point. Thankfully, after we've taken enough damage, I can be some dodged. Yoink, yoink. Delicious. Again, relatively easy. Hey look, A-Rank. I think I'm gonna get an A-Rank overall for this. Assuming I don't beef the Mr. Battle fight. Which is actually coming up here. Uh, what's my time looking like? Ah, uh, fuck it, we have time. I just don't want these to be hour-long episodes. Normally I would cut it off. Uh, should I cut? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna cut it off here, actually. Next time on Middle Gear Rising, we'll be fighting Mr. Al. See you guys then. Later.